Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. What is going on, guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today we have a new feature added to the game, guys. All right. It is known as the Challenge Arena. All right. So, as if we already didn't have plenty to do as far as game modes in Brave Frontier already, here they are adding another one for you guys to enjoy, alright? So, if you check the in-game news, this uh, in-game news, in news article here basically tells exactly how the Challenge Arena works, alright? It pretty much outlines everything on how it works. So, if you don't know how it works yet, I highly recommend that you read this article in the in-game news, okay? And you will want to check this out, all right? So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over there and do a couple battles, all right? Um, one thing you may want to take note of, um, it does not have like orbs or anything like that, like regular arena. Um, here it is, right here challenge arena, take on new challenges, all right? So, uh, regular arena above challenge arena is right here, all right? So, for those that don't understand, I'll kind of explain what I know as I go along, all right? So, here is basically like the main menu, if you will. All right, they got the ability to summon, which you'll be using rainbow coins for a little later. You got the shop. This is where you enter in order to get ready for battle. This is the ranking for the day slash week. And this is if you have any questions down here in the bottom right, the info question mark, all right? So, Challenge Arena was released much earlier today, all right? I got to dibble dabble into it a little bit, not too much, all right? Um, it came out while I was at work. Um, I got home not long ago and just haven't had the opportunity to try to grind it in order to wake up or rank up, excuse me. So uh, I'll basically break down what I know, all right? So it, this basically shows basic information, game of name, your sum of the level, your rank. And then this is what pertains to this, all right, what league you are in. There are three leagues, uh, rookie, something else, and legendary. I can't remember the, the one in the middle. All right, you got your silver coins, your gold coins, and your rainbow coins. All right, um, this kind of works just like an arena in the event that you can't control your units. There is a prerequisite, all right? Well, not a prerequisite, kind of like a challenge. We'll, we'll just go with this name here, challenge battle condition, all right? So you know if you play regular arena mode and you check that random box, it gives kind of random things. Well, you kind of don't have a choice here, all right? Um, they pretty much put one on every battle. So this is my next opponent with the Reeves lead. Um, I don't know if you guys knew you could do this, but you can check the next one to see what there you'll be up against. You got no leader skills. You got the zebra lead with the earth element advantage. And then you got attack parameter half, so on and so forth. All right. So uh pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> but there's a lot that goes on in this challenge arena, guys. Okay. Um, if you really want to go crazy, you can kind of switch your team up for every battle. I personally think that's very time consuming. Definitely worth it, but it's very time consuming to do, all right? Um, like, for example, you got Dark Element Advantage. You'll probably want to bring a Mono Dark Squad. Take advantage of it, all right? You see, the person you're going against only has two Dark Units, so only Kukuri and Lyra are going to get the advantage here. The other three are not going to get it at all. So you could just put together a team, all right? It shows their HP and BB gauges prior to battle, all right? So they don't have anything right now. Um, it's the battles that when they start with BB gauge, those are the ones you're likely to lose. And especially if you bring too strong of a squad and you give the enemy the first strike when the BB gauge is not full, not good. All right, this is your rank throughout the day, all right? Um, it goes up as you continue to get more points and increase in rank, all right? So uh, I'm not going to explain too, too heavy, all right? Like I said, you'll want to read the end game news for that. Um, this is when the daily ranking ends, okay? So let's get into it. All right. Now, one thing about building your squad, not only do you want to cater to the battle condition, all right, but you also want to be careful of what kind of squad you build. All right. This is the kind of squad somewhat I've been building. I've lost a few units today because I haven't played too, too much of it. But uh, my recommended list of units, all right, um, bring a unit that increases at least bc if not bc and hc drop rate bring a unit that can heal while it attacks very very useful 
All right, um, bring a unit that can inflict important status ailments such as Paralyze or Curse. Um, the rest of them can help, but they're not game changing like Paralyze and Curse. And uh, I'd say you pretty much be in the game. The other two units, whatever. But you want to be careful, guys, okay? Main reason being, you got here what's called the Brave Bonus, all right? It basically determines how many points you're going to get. It, like, multiplies your points. So say I was going to get 10 points here. For the Brave Bonus of 1, they'll give me a flat 10 points. All right, but say I was to do this. All right, now you see it just went up to 1.53. The, the, the lower your chances of winning the battle, so to speak, or the, the weaker your team is compared to the other team, the higher this Brave Bonus number gets, which means if you win the battle, you are rewarded more points. All right, now if you do something like this and make your team stronger, and let's see, for example, let's do this. Uh, la, 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 la. Make it even stronger. All right, see, now it got cut down to the red zone. They're basically telling me my team is way OP for this squad that I'm about to battle against. That does not mean you're going to win, all right? But that does mean that if you do win, your points will be cut in half. Your brave bonus will be cut in half, okay? So uh, you do get bonus points, bonus points for stuff such as winning the battle against the opponent on the first attempt and stuff like that, all right? Um, so... Um, it's a very nice thing, all right? You don't have a limit as to how many times you can enter it. Um, basically, when you run out of all your units, because they don't come back unless you use like a gem or something. You use gems or revive potions, you can bring your dead units back to life. Otherwise, you got to wait until the daily refresh. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and build me a squad. I don't want to make a squad too powerful that I give them the first strike. I don't too much like to do that, so I have to be careful. All right, I kind of like to keep this number yellow because I want the first strike. So uh, we're going to see what we can do here. I think, let me go down to my dark units since we got dark element advantage. And, uh, see what we can get into. I don't need nothing too OP, but if I put on stuff too OP, then I'm going to end up getting, see what I did there? I don't want them too OP, so let me see if I can put some decent units. I don't need super OP, just some decent, you know. Yeah, you know Elsa gonna bring it down, cause she been beast. Um, I don't want to get too powerful here. You gotta be careful. Um, hmm, had around run might be too much. So you see, if you click on these are my dead units for the day. All right, I just threw kind of together a random team and came in here and they ended up losing so they'll give you the option you want to use three gems all right so of course i ain't doing that you <laughs> care that much all right but uh that's the option do be aware um this arena relies on raw strength of your units guys there are no spheres equipped um i don't even know if they well i'm pretty sure you do got your extra skill but a lot of extra skills you got to have a certain sphere equipped to activate them so any unit like that and their abilities are cut significantly without this sphere being equipped so you have to be really careful guys on the units that you decide to go with okay um i don't want to get too op here so i definitely got to be careful uh how about art what would he do okay not too much not too much just a bunch of six stars anyway i don't think this could curry is too op It's BB level 6. That's it. Maybe I should bring my Kukuri. Where's she at? There's a real Kukuri out here. Alright, so my girl Alice probably going to end up bringing it home for us. So here we go, guys. Dark Element Advantage. Mono Dark Squad for the win. Let's give it a try. See what happens. Now, I don't have to worry about them getting the first strike because I didn't make my squad too OP, so... We'll see what happens here. Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Freaking Alice with the SBB. I mean, your squad feels so weak, man, without these spheres and whatnot, but it's all good. It's all good, baby. It's, a, it's the name of the game. So, uh, yeah, my squad about to wreck them. They didn't take full advantage of the battle condition there, so uh, I pretty much felt that was a victory. So sweetness there, all right, we got that win, that W, 
Um, I don't know how hard I'm going to grind this to actually, like, rank up really high and good in it. Um, there's so much to do in Brave Frontier already. I just, another mode is like, man. So, uh, we got the Brave bonus of 1.12. All opponents down times two. First attempt bonus times two. So, we're getting a whole lot of points there. 135 points. Rank up. All right. So, you keep doing that. Your ranking will go up, which means your tier will go up. All right, which means at the end of the day, the the lower number you're the, of the tier that you're in, the better the rewards you are going to get for the day. And if you grind it out all week, then it'll be the better the rewards you get for the week. So after every battle, you get those rainbow coins and bada boom, bada bang. All right, that's a nice Alice right there, seven star. That seven star Alice. Oh nope, six star. All right, so no leader skills, nothing too crazy. All right, there's nothing you can really do about leader skills. Uh, probably the best recommended team for no leader skills would be to just bring a unit, bring units that already have high attack, so you can just like knock them out quick. Um, I personally, I'm not even gonna switch the team I got. Probably, let me take a look here. Yeah, that's a pretty decent brave bonus. I'm not even gonna switch them. I'm just gonna let them stay where they at. We'll see what happens. Roll out, baby. So just do a few battles just to show you guys what it's all about here. So no leader skills, but my L's are finna shut it down. <laughs> See, look, they already jacked up cursed, so I'd say that's a wrap, brah. And they all going BB, huh? Wow. That's good BC production right there. Sparking like crazy. Yep, they didn't have a chance. I'll take it. So it's a balance in that, guys. You're going to have to. Why? Oh, you know what? Yeah, they don't have SBB a lot. That's the, that's my anima art and not my guardian one that I've had for the longest. And I never maxed the Another 134 points. Sweet. So I believe if I went to all my units died, man, I would be on this job literally all day. So I don't know if I'm going to put the time for it, for it honestly. All right, so next battle condition, Earth Element Advantage. So let's see if we can build us a not too strong of a Mono Earth Squad, but a nice Mono Earth Squad. I'll probably bring out that Dion lead, honestly, is what I'm going to do. Dion would be a pretty decent leader. He got that critical. So let's see. We'll start with Dion. I got some pretty nice Earth units. Is this my breaker one or my animal one? Let me check. Okay, good. My breaker was maxed, maxed out on the SBB. My animal one is not, so we're going to run Dion lead. All right. I do believe the units still have the same AI mechanics as regular arena, guys. So, uh, let's see. Make sure I don't make them too OP here. Got to be careful not to make them too OP. I'm bringing quite a few seven stars, but once my brave bonus get a little too low, then I have to be careful. Uh, Tora would be a good choice. I actually want her a little higher up the ladder here. And yeah, see my brave bonus just shot way down, so I'm gonna have to put something weak there, something not too strong that is gonna be too OP. How will Zell Knight fit in there? Let's try that. Ah, that's still too low. Kaputski. Well, I kind of want to keep Zell Knight, so I'll see if I can switch out one of them for another six star. Uh, da -da. He probably shouldn't be so far towards the bottom. Uh, decent enough. He ain't going to get it perfect. You want everybody at the top, but not going to happen. Let's try taking out and Daria for Lario. How did that? Ah, uh, that guy is pretty decent. That guy is pretty decent. So we'll just run with this. See how it works out. So uh, Earth Element Advantage, they're not going to get the advantage at all. There's no Earth units up there. So let's get to it. I think my squad can take them. I didn't look at BB gauges, though. Okay, good. They're not full. As long as they ain't full, man. Got a strong chance of taking this home. Yes, sir. Live without. So the BC production on this squad ain't too great, but I'm thinking the sheer advantage alone is going to be well, well more than enough to take these guys out. 
the uh, earth advantage. So, yeah, you see, we, I mean, we're just, we're putting the pause on a good time, big time. That's it right there. Getting into the BBs now. Yeah, buddy, that's a wrap. See ya. All right. Dion Lee, baby. Put in that work. Work. Bunch of points there. Not too shabby. 124. All right. So, in a nutshell, that's how it works, guys. All right. A pretty cool mode. All right. I don't think it's nothing super extravagant, but it is something different, something new to Global Brave Frontier. So, um, it, it, it's nice. It's it's nice. I, I like it. All right. So, uh, just to show you one last thing here, how the ranking works. All right. It also remind me of the levels because I I completely forgot. But uh, we have. Let's go to the weekly rankings. Weekly and the weekend and early, huh? One day, five hours. All right, it should show as soon as it loads up here. Goodness gracious, come on! Oh boy. Alright, let it breathe, let it breathe. It's a new mode in the game, probably flooded right now. Everybody's probably playing it. You need time to think. I want to remember the name of the rank I'm missing. It's rookie something and legendary is the top lead, but I just I can't remember. So uh, it shows you the daily weekly rankings. You can view the rewards of the daily, weekly, legendary, rookie, whatever you may be. You, you can view it all. All right. So uh, I don't know what the heck is taking it so long to load, but uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. So I was going to show you guys this, but the game is like broken right now. It's probably just way too many people playing right now, dragging the whole game down. So on that note, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. All right. Um, you got any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys in the comments, all right? Otherwise, I hope you do enjoy the new Challenge Arena mode, all right? It's it's something new, so it should grab your attention for a minute, all right? But uh, that's going to wrap this video up, guys, all right? So, on that note, if you wish to join the Facebook group, link is down below in the description. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Uh, now that it finally shows up, huh? Oh, look how slow that is. My goodness. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. All right. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon. There it is, by the way. Rookie, Summoner, and Legendary. All right. So, later, guys.